Hi everybody, welcome to this year's ESPC online conference and thanks for joining our session. This presentation is about SAP process integration with cloud environments. My name is Christian Tauchmann, software consultant at Theobald Software and I'm gonna guide you through the next 15 minutes. So what's on the agenda? I first give you a brief overview about the company Theobald Software and our products. Then I explain how SAP integration with the connector ECS core and applications in the cloud would typically look like. In the live demo, I showcase a fully end-to-end -end customer scenario for SAP process integration with the K2 cloud platform. I will close the session by explaining how to get started with the solution. All right, let's start with a few key figures about Theobald Software, who we are and what we do. Theobald Software is in the IT business for quite some time now. The company was founded in 2004 and ever since then specialized on SAP integration and SAP interface technology, where it became one of the key players and market leaders worldwide. We have over 3,000 3, customers all over the world we have a broad network of consulting and technical partners and offices in a couple of countries, Germany, France, Hong Kong and the US. Our headquarters based in Stuttgart, Germany. Let's have a look at our product portfolio. This session is about SAP process integration with the cloud, in this case the K2 cloud platform. Let me quickly explain what process integration is about and how it fits into our product portfolio. As you can see, we have a broad selection of different connectors for SAP integration. In the upper right corner, there's our process integration connectors, ERP Connect Services and ECS Core. ERP Connect Services is for SharePoint on-premises only and ECS Core for cloud environments in general. So what is meant by process integration? For process integration, you have a transactional process in SAP and want to handle it from an external system such as SharePoint or Office 365. Read and write access to SAP is made possible through different approaches with these connectors, mostly in combination with process automation tools such as K2. You'll get a nice uh, showcase later in the live demo about this approach. On the left hand side, there's our connectors that focus on BI reporting and data warehousing. These connectors allow mass data extraction from an SAP ERP or BW system to a huge variety of external destinations, databases, cloud storages, or BI front-end tools. The focus is as mentioned on mass data extraction for these connectors and read-only access to different SAP data objects. To give you the complete picture, in the lower right corner you find ERP Connect, which is a pure developer interface for .NET development and the basis for all other products. So how would SAP integration with a process automation tool in the cloud look like? A user would start a process by filling some information in a web form or a SharePoint online list for example. This start event will trigger a workflow in one of these supported tools displayed here. Microsoft Power Platform, K2, Nintex. For the SAP integration part, a REST service created with the cloud connector ECS Core is called up. As you can see, there are different approaches supported for the SAP access. UI means transaction recording. A transactional process in SAP can be recorded and wrapped into a web service. API means a function module or so-called BAPI is called up in SAP, which allows to read and write data. The last possibility query means just reading information from an SAP table. So how does that exactly work with K2, the platform we have prepared the showcase for? In K2, so-called smart objects can be used to create entities for SAP connectivity. Therefore, an open API definition created with the ECS core connector can be imported. REST operations can be configured and encapsulated within a smart object and then used via drag and drop into a K2 form, workflow or report. 
let's get to the exciting part now, the live demo. A purchase to pay process with SAP can become complex to handle and quickly requires a lot of SAP customizing. To avoid any customizing in SAP, we utilize K2 platform to handle the full end-to-end -end process, including several approvals and direct interaction with SAP to read and update data. In a classic purchase to pay process, many different roles are involved. So let's check on the roles we will use in this demo. First, we have the request of John. He wants to order new assets. This request goes always straight to the responsible line manager. For John, this is Julie. After the line manager approval, potentially a second approval is needed by CFO, who is Mary. And for further steps, we have Daniel, the purchaser. Additionally, we want to directly involve external vendors to provide actual quotations. Now let's have a look how all these roles collaborate in an orchestrated digital process with K2. John creates a hardware request on a digital K2 smartphone. That shows him direct information from SAP, identifies based on his user context the assets he is allowed to order and of course determinates his line manager. This is Julie. She gets an automated task assigned to approve John's new hardware order. After her positive approval, the process checks on budget limits. This is 1000 euros for John's role. If the limit is exceeded, a second approval by CFO in our demo Mary is required. After all approvals, the process queries the potential vendors for the requested materials and sends out a request for quotation. After receiving the quotes from the vendors, the purchaser Daniel gets a task to select one of the vendors, based on price and delivery date. If the actual price increases the initial estimated price more than 10%, a reapproval from Mary is requested. In the next step, the workflow creates a purchase order directly in SAP and the vendor gets notified that we await the delivery. After delivery, again Daniel receives a task to confirm and process the delivery assets. If this task is completed, the workflow creates the goods received for purchase order in SAP and with this the new assets are booked to the right cost center and planned. Finally, the requester John receives a task to confirm the receiving of his ordered hardware and to give us feedback about his experience with the digital order process and if we can improve something. After that, we kick off the invoicing process and analyze the feedback of the requester. Ok, let's start the demo. We start with John in the role of the requester. Here we see a typical employee self-service dashboard. Depending on John's role and permissions, he has several actions available, be it to request new software, request access to systems, managing mail settings or managing collaboration tools like requesting a new channel in MS Teams. But for this demo, we want to create a new hardware purchase request. On the request form, cost center is pre-populated based on John's user context. He fills in the order details and goes to the purchase request list to define the products he wants to order. This is a multi-item list. The product dropdown provides us a list of assets that John is in his role is allowed to order. Selecting a product queries the latest unit price live from SAP. Let's add a second product. Clicking submit creates the request and starts the workflow. Now we jump into the role of Julie. She is the line manager of John. She received a task notification via email and she can find her central task list at several places. For example on dashboards like this. The red bar indicates there's a new task. Julie can review all all the details and the positions. She could redirect the task if someone else should make the decision. But in this case she just approves the task and adds a comment for further involved persons. 
As we exceed the threshold of 1000 euros, the workflow assigns a task to Mary, the CFO. After a quick review, she sees the previous comment of Julie and decides that this order can be approved. Now the workflow determines the potential vendors for this order and sends out a request for quotation. We step into the role of vendor 1, Easy Computer Software. The vendor received an email with a link to the proposal form. This is a K2 form accessible by external parties. Data comes directly from K2 and is directly saved back into the defined systems. So vendor 1 provides his delivery date and prices for this purchase order. In parallel, vendor 2, Noe Tech Company, is doing the same thing. After the incoming proposals, the purchaser gets tasked to select the vendor of choice. So we are back now in the internal purchaser role, who is Daniel. He finds a new task and can review all the incoming proposals and select one based on delivery date and prices. Here he selects for vendor 1, easy computer software, because of earlier delivery date and cheaper total amount. The workflow goes on, creates the purchase order in SAP and informs the selected vendors about the new purchase order and that we are awaiting the delivery. So let's have a look into SAP what happened here. In SAP we opened the new purchase order with the number that we got back from the workflow. Here we see the products, the selected vendor and more information. Now the purchaser is waiting for delivery. At one morning a new parcel gets delivered. The purchaser Daniel uses the K2 mobile scanner on his smartphone to scan the QR code on the parcel. This provides the purchase order number, the vendor knows and is printed on the parcel. The scan of the code redirects the purchaser now to the K2 goods received from the workflow. Here he can check again all order details and he has to fulfill a checklist. Are all products delivered? Are all items in the expected quality and quantity? Are there any damages? If he cannot confirm for example the quality, he can send back the task to the actual requester to perform these checks. But if he can fulfill the checklist, the button to confirm the order gets enabled and he can complete this task. The workflow goes to the next step to create the goods received for the purchase order in SAP. Let's have a quick look into SAP what was created. Passing the GRPO number we got from the workflow to check the new document in SAP. We see here again all assets, the cost center, the plant and more information that were either entered during the process or determined by the user context of the requester automatically. Finally the workflow assigns now a last task to John the requester. He needs to confirm that he got the ordered products by picking it up from the purchaser office or getting it delivered by email probably. Additionally, he has the chance to rate the full process experience and give us feedback how we could improve this digital process for a better experience. After that, the workflow executes two closing steps in parallel. First, it analyzes the feedback. A positive feedback gets just saved in a feedback list. A negative feedback triggers the feedback analyzing process to investigate what could be improved by the process team. In parallel, the central invoicing process is triggered. In general, this part is a reusable process that can be triggered by many other different processes. But it's not part of this demo today. With this, the end-to-end -end process is finished and we have a quick look into the K2 view flow report to recap what happened. The view flow report is a live process instance report that shows you where the process is currently running, which paths were followed and shows more details if you click a drill down menu. Here we started with the purchase order request and got to the manager approval. Because the order amount exceeded the threshold, we moved into CFO approval. The purchaser got notified about the new request for quotation process. Then he selected one of the vendors. The actual amount was here cheaper than estimated, not higher. Therefore no additional CFO approval was necessary. We see the path was not executed. The PO was created in SAP. The purchaser confirmed the goods delivery. The goods received was booked in SAP. The requester closed the process and feedback analysis and invoicing started. 
That's it with the demo. We hope you enjoyed it and it triggers your creativity how SAP processes can be fully automated with ECS Core and K2. If you want to know more about the solution presented in the demo and like to try it out, please contact us and see the links listed here. Thank you very much.